All right, hey guys, this is JK the Plague. Got into a scrim with between Orbit and TSM. They were okay with me casting it, thank God. But we're gonna be seeing the first bands going out from Orbit. Remember, this is a scrim, so you might see just troll bands, you might see normal bands, and you're gonna see Twisted Fate gets banned. Twisted Fate, very underrated mid. Like at the moment, I feel. I mean, he's got such good global presence. Reggie's been playing him quite a bit, but you know, the triple gold per five route. And then TSM banned on that Urgot. Urgot, very annoying to deal with in the bottom lane. He's very controlling of that lane. Just, ugh, just so annoying to deal with. I definitely can see why people like to ban him out. Especially since, I think, they're giving him buffs next patch as well. Was it last patch? They gave him something that was really... They gave him extra damage. Or they gave him, they gave him extra damage. Early game damage on his, you know, abilities on his Acid Hunter. And there's the Cannon Band coming out. Uh, cannon, you know, good at initiating. Good that, good that. Ultimate! Good at top lane, good at mid lane, can even AD if so wishes. But whatever. Just kind of normal bands. I want to see the pick. That's what I care about. These bands, it is since, since it is a scrim, probably aren't gonna matter too much. Uh, sometimes you know, champions like to give you know players like to give the other team the champions they want so they can learn how to deal with it in scrims. Very commonly done in scrims. Uh, there's a zillion band. Uh, I haven't seen Orbit really play Zillion too much, so I don't know. This, this seems like a normal ban. I mean, I have seen Zillion, you know, run with that Darius combo where he speeds Darius up and just gives him two lives. And then Darius can get a GA later on, and it's pretty much a Darius with three lives able to just completely wreck the team with his ultimate, and it can be very hard to deal with. I've seen Kog'Maw and Viker ban. Um, so, these don't seem like very big targeted bans. They just seem like normal bans. Uh, just don't, people I don't want to deal with, people... You don't really want to get in this game, maybe they counteract their strategy, maybe they just want to sell, want to see those champions, whatever. Let me just... boom. Don't want that happening in the middle of the game, that would suck. But there we see Shen first pick, I mean Shen can go in the jungle, go in the top lane. So I mean he's a good, he's a very safe first pick, and I kind of, I like it when people pick safe first, first picks, it's very, uh, rising popularity now you see the support or you see somebody who can go to multiple lanes TSM now locking in Nocturne and Karthus Karthus has been a favorite of Team Solo mid for a little while now I mean at MLG you saw the Karthus Hail strategy going on and then they're picking up Nocturne Nocturne with that great initiation you know with those great ganks early on a very fast jungler he's just very strong right now um, in jungle and he's most definitely going to be a jungler unless they decide to send him top. Because Nocturne can still top lane. He's very underrated top laner. But he's just got so many counters top and he is a melee champion. He pushes a lane naturally. So unless you're going for that kind of push strategy, you will constantly push your lane. And it's just something sometimes you just don't want to do. Especially against someone who you know, jungles very well. And then key things to note here is Alistar is actually open. Nautilus is uh, open. And yes, actually Orbit is going to grab Alistar. I mean, he's a great support. Even better jungler and he can do a lot of things for the team and I definitely can see a high picking him, a high jungling Alistar and Shen going up top he's really taking him because Alistar is played a lot by high, high is very known for his Alistar jungle and uh, just being so aggressive with it as well as Nautilus, his Nautilus jungle is very uh, common too but Nautilus is just such a good jungler right now with all that CC that he has that it's just, it's just so hard to deal with, so good and on the other side, oh, Nian also picked up Braves. I'm not sure if he's going to be running Cleanse. I mean, yes, there is the Nocturne Fear. I uh, mean, you got Karthus Wall, but, eh, yeah, let's see if Nian wants to change that, change that up. And on the other side, looks like we're going to be looking in Ezreal, and are we going to see a Ziggs pick? Probably not. And it looks like, yes, they're just going to lock in Janna, Janna, Ezreal in the bottom lane. Very good picks. Ezreal has been rising also in popularity. Hopefully is that Pulse Fire Ezreal skin or else I'm not approving of it. And then Ka the Cassidy? Are we gonna be seeing a Cassidy pick? Cassidy does have, you know, he does have that slow, he's got good escape, he's got good, you know, follow-up with his ultimate. But if you're I mean he just gets kinda hung out to dry if he goes aggressive. And other than that, I mean, he's really good at g ganking lanes, being having that roaming presence, but I'm just not sure if that's good. Cassidy Metal, I mean, I, I like it. I like Cassidy Metal. Cassidy is very fun. He's very strong, does quite a bit of damage. There was a time where he was just constantly banned. 
in the media low because he was just able to constantly gank other lanes just have the map presence that a lot of people like to have and just constantly helping other lanes out so i mean that's why castan is good castan can also is I mean, he's very he's very very weak early on we'll have to see if they decide to punish from for that i mean he's going up against karthus and i mean if castan were to go up against anybody it's usually karthus Kessin is very good against Karthus and allows him to get that uh, his E stacks rolling and just cast him a bunch of times. And then Elimination's picking Lulu, so it's going to see a Lulu Graves combo. Along with Shen, I mean, and Alistar. So Lulu has such good such good synergy with almost everyone on this team. I mean, anybody can get into the middle of them, middle of them and Lulu is, is able to ult them and just knock them up, get that giant slow, while everyone else is just able to constantly deal damage. So it is a very good, I think it's a very good support pick, actually, going with this team. Shen's able to really dash in there. Alistar's able to get in there with the headbutt pulverize. And then Lulu knock up, followed up by that. So there's so much CC from Team Orbit, actually. On the other side, they're going to be able to pick Kale. Looks like we're going to be seeing this Kale Karthus strategy yet again. It worked very well for them at MLG Anaheim. As we saw, Karthus just able to get in there. Even when he had Zonia's, he would get in there, Zonia's. And then Kale Ultimate just allow him to do so much damage, and there would be nothing that the other team could do about it, because they were just able to just dish out so much damage from that. I'm actually curious to see what... Oh, it's Chaos. Oops. Well, we're going to be seeing the swaps here. Yeah, it looks like Chaos taking Kale. Going to swap that with Dyrus. Uh, swaps, yes, it is going to be high in the jungle with Alistar. Definitely going to be very strong there. Good look for those gangs. Suzuki going up top as Shen. And it's going to be interesting to see him take on Kale. Kale's got some er great early game damage. And Shen isn't as tanky, you know, as he is later on. So Kale might be able to punish Yuzuki very hard. Uh, given Kale's damage output is just really strong early on. And then Odd One. And look for Odd One and High to really kind of get those ganks on. They both have good ganks early on. I mean, you can get a level 2 gank off of Nocturne because of his fear. If you can even get a great fear off, it'd be, it'd be awesome. And then even on middle, because especially since Cassidy has no real escape yet, and Karthus has that wall, if he can get a gank on in middle, it would be just, it would be so strong. Give him a nice advantage in lane. And then just, it would really snowball from there because Karthus, you know, he's definitely going to be stronger later on, and you definitely don't want him to snowball off of your team because he's got that ultimate he's got he also has global presence and he doesn't even have to leave the lane so we'll have to see if maybe Cassidy can silence him get some clutch silences on that ultimate if he can notice it in time because it's really gonna I think a lot of it's gonna be coming down to junglers in mid lane um, hopefully Yuzuki can take on Dyrus up top I do can see Kale kind of pushing that early advantage that Kale's have and running with it but, I mean, if High can get some good ganks up top, then that can be knocked, it can just be stopped. High can also get good ganks on Karthus in middle. So, I mean, Alistar is just so good in the jungle that he can just be anywhere and just do so much damage. Bot lane looks like it just might be a farm fest, um, unless one of the teams decide to aggress up or they get a gank. It's because, I mean, they have... Chaos has good poke. Janna, you know, can, has the shield to protect him. Lulu also has a shield. And even Lulu and Graves have good poke together. They even got both got slows, so I mean, yeah, Neon's got you know he's got cleanse. He's gonna be able to cleanse anything, any slow, any knock up, and maybe hopefully he can use that to his advantage. But I mean, the cleanse, I don't know. I don't know if it's really gonna do too much. I mean, you see Nocturne with the fear, special with the knock up, and I mean everyone else just has slows. And I don't know if I would have taken. I don't know. I'm sure if cleanse maybe was the best choice here. I mean, heal would have been good, but cleanse is also a great spell. I always like to run it too. It's a very good spell, very um, great for AD carries, helping them, you know, just stay alive, get out of there. And a lot of people, you know, like to go heal, flash, you know, heal's also very good. Heal baiting is very popular, you know, you always see people do that. But, I mean, cleanse is still very, a very good thing. On the other side, you know, you're seeing exhaust, and you're seeing three ignites, actually, while only one on orbit. And everyone else has exhaust on orbit, you see, you know, elimination with exhaust, Suzuki with exhaust, and then... Um, that's kind of it. You see Cleanse on Nien, then on Ignite on Nubby Pooh Bear. But on the other side, you see Special. I mean, you see Chaos with Ignite Flash. You see Dyrus with Ignite Flash and Reggie with Ignite Flash. You're going to be seeing some aggressive laning from from TSM because Nocturne is just, he's got those nice strong ganks. I mean, get that fear, really lock down those kills. I mean, Alistair can really, you know, CC people too. That headbutt pulverize just keeps people CC just for like three old seconds. And it's just so annoying to deal with, especially when you get ganked. But it looks like the 
things are going to be starting soon. I want to look at Ezreal's runes. Since I'm an aspiring Ezreal player, I want to look at these. I want to look at his runes. Well, it's got lifesteal. Lifesteal? Really? He's got lifesteal? Quint? He's got, you know, flat attack damage, some flat armor, and then, you know, flat magic resist. So, I mean, that lifesteal. No, I mean, you usually don't see people running lifesteal. A lot of people saying, it's bad. Whatever, we're going to be getting into this game. I'm praying that it does not go to the bottom right, because I will be very upset if it decides to go <laughs> down here, seeing as I have to go and do it manually. But no, it does not look like it will do it. There's some random bug that I keep getting. And here we are. Let's look at the skins. He does have Pulse Fire Ezra. I clap. That's my applause. Thank God. And then, for, look at these skins, man. You see Frost, Team Frost over here. Frost Queen Jan, Frozen Tire Nocturne. Other side, meh, meh. Skins are lame. And I don't unchain all stars. Not it's not a skin. It does not count as a skin. It's free. No mafia graves though. So beastly. It just makes them just a giant, giant beast that is graves. But I mean, I'm gonna be looking. Are we gonna be seeing a level one team fight? I mean, there is Alistar. They have Shen. They even have Lulu slow, so you might see actually an invasion from orbit. Then maybe they want to force a team fight. Well, the other side, they kind of don't really want to force a team fight, from what I think of it. I mean, Karthus does do a lot of damage with Lay Waste, and you know, Kale does have, and she doesn't really have that same damage that she would at level two. Nocturne, of course, can do level da a damage, but he's not gonna have his CC move. But Jenna, um, she can hold off, maybe grab a tornado if she needs it, and that can provide a big knockup. But the CC from Orbit is just a lot higher, considering that they have Pulverize, they have Taunt, and they have Lulu Slow. So, I mean, usually CC, people with more CC usually can win level 1 team fights, despite, you know, the damage output. But Darius is going to be sitting in the middle, making sure to watch out, see if anybody comes that way. A lot of people like to come this way, you know, checking for an invasion. But we're seeing a... No, I thought Expression was going to ward it. Looks like he maybe wants to ward it. But, I mean, he did see Cast in there. TSM is still waiting there. They are going to see Shen, and here comes the uh, comes the ward. They definitely want to ward this. Here they come. Kyox and Expecial want to get in there. And can Expecial get a ward down? There's the ward. There's the silence. Oh, but here comes High. High coming around. Not, not going to be able to get in range to try and get a pulverize. Definitely would have been a good opportunity. But the rest of his team was just not in position either. But they're able to get that ward off there. And it's going to give you know TSM a good indication of where Alistar is in his jungle. And then the rest of TSM is actually just going to head off into their own jungles and not worry about anything. And it's high. It looks like he's actually going to be starting red buff. Huh. And actually starting at the golems, no less. That's odd. And golems are the strongest ones um, in the jungle. They give a lot of experience as well, though. But it looks like they're going to start up. Get the help of the AD. Meanwhile, the other team. Oh, man. Kaox actually stealing the wraith. Very nice play there. I've been seeing that a lot lately. Able to steal that wraith, no problem. And he's definitely utilizing that damage, so taking the Wraith away from High, that is going to slow his jungle down a little bit. They did not see him there, and it's even going to give Ezreal a nice little advantage in lane. And look at this, you're seeing Reginald actually going up top. He knows that his weakness is Cassidy, so they're just going to send him up top to deal with Shen. And now Cassidy's seeing Kale here, and Cassidy's going to have a hard time last hitting. There's actually a good night going out on the Nubby Pooh Bear, and Dyrus is going kind of aggressive, pushing him out of lane already. He's taking so much damage from that. Dyrus just ignite, and then his auto attacks with his E active. Ouch, just putting him so dang low. And now Pooper is actually going to have a kind of a hard time with this. Hopefully, Yuzuki can make up for this. Maybe they can get a lane swap going in. We actually might be seeing a gank down bottom, but it is awarded, so Alistar not going to be able to do much there. But they do know where he's at. They do know Alistar is heading there. They're even pinging in there as well. And Alistar might not be able to get a gank in on this. They're pinging in several places. They know what High likes to do. They think High might be in two places. And Kale's actually come face check this bush. And here comes the pulverize. Throw onto Dyrus. Just, Nubby Pooh Bear is just nowhere nearby though. He's doing so much damage to him. But Dyrus, I mean Nubby Pooh Bear just not able to react. He's not close enough to do anything. But he is gonna get Dyrus very low. That's gonna kinda even out the health pots a little bit. You just see him poke coming out from both teams on the bottom. And if we count the shields, I mean, from support, the special shield is just way better. Looks like Nocturne is actually coming mid as well. Going to push this, actually. That's very surprising. I'm not sure what is going on here. They're coming in. Going to push mid lane. Puts keep pressure on Cassidy. And he has a hard time last hitting a tower. You know, he is level 3 now, so I mean, he can use his blade to help last hit. A lot of people underestimate that. That he can last hit a tower thanks to his, uh, his, what's it, what is it called? His nether blade. He can last hit very well. 
But it looks like Graves actually forced to go back early. This early aggression, especially utilizing that shield to get some early damage on. There's a tornado. Lemonation actually doing quite a bit of damage to it. Special. Special is going to be forced to chug that health pot. That's going to be gone now. Graves is going to come back to lane. What is he going to come back with? Just some more health potions. And wow. Here comes actually Alistar coming in for a gank. Can they get this onto Dyrus? Dyrus is not aware yet. He's doing a bunch of damage onto Nubby. Looks like here he comes. He has the double buff. Nubby Pooper is not really in range though. Alistar is pretty dang fast, but it's not going to matter. Kale has that speed boost. She's going to be able to get out. Oh, she hasn't actually leveled it yet. But still, she has that speed boost later on. And it's going to be very hard to gank Kale uh, once she gets that speed boost. Just because... If she can stay on the side, on a certain side, not get baited out. Kale's very fast. We're actually seeing Alistar actually coming for a gank. He's going to get spotted by the ward, though. And they're just not allowing Hyde to do anything. It is just everything is warded. He is being shut down at every gank he wants to do. And the rest of his team is even not even in position to do anything about it. He is still just sitting here. And you're seeing Nocturne actually coming up as well. This is going to be a big gank onto Alistar right here. He's going to knock up Chaos. Chaos is going to take a little bit of damage. But Odd One is here as well. He's going to land the Dustbringer on all three of them. He's going to start the fear onto Nian. But Nian's already out of range. Not gonna happen there. Kale, meanwhile, is doing so much damage onto Nubby in middle lane. Nubby just can't do anything about this. He's trying to throw out those silences. He needs level 6, and once he gets that level 6, we might see him try and make a turnaround here. As we look at the CS in middle, he has 18 to 20. He's actually keeping up fairly well. He's able to last hit a, a tower. He's sacrificing a lot of mana, and Nocturne is actually coming in. Gonna steal the CS. It looks like... Did he smite? He did not smite. I guess the big Wraith was still down, but he's going to leave that little Wraith. How are you going to come in, be devastated, and there's only one little Wraith left? Top CS, 27 to 25, so Shen winning by a little bit. Shen actually having not has has not chugged any health potions yet. Well, uh, no, actually neither players have chugged any health potions. Actually forcing the flash out of Dyrus middle. High's presence is just too strong comes in, but Novi Pooh Bear is in a dangerous position, he has no mana, he's probably going to go down to this Ignite, he needs to get out of there, one more tick, and there's first blood onto Dyrus, um, on Dyrus, taking Novi Pooh Bear down, Novi Pooh Bear staying for a little bit too long there, not able to do much, but Chaos, using his Arcane Shift, he could be in a bad position, but they're turning onto Lemonation, Lemonation could be in trouble, forcing the flash out of him, the shield from Ix Special is still going, Nian and Lemonation are going to get out of there with their lives, but just barely, forcing a couple summoners out from uh, Lemonation, not sure if Nian, Nian didn't have any summoners up, so nothing he can do there. But Alistar is getting kind of pushed around by Dyrus. Dyrus has no mana in middle, but Kale is just being so strong right now. Nubby Pooh Bear is almost level 6, and he definitely needs to get that level 6. He needs to make kind of a presence on the map, make a play somewhere, as it will really help him bring him back into this game, because he is falling very far behind with that death. That first blood on Kale is going to be monstrous. Uh, she is, already has the upper hand already in middle lane on him and it's just going to affect him just completely but meanwhile down at bottom lanes we look at the CS it is 52 to 31 Ezreal is just dominating him in CS Neon just has no answer for this and it's really starting to affect him as we can see you know he hasn't even gone back yet he's sitting on 1400 gold 1500 now but he definitely wants to go back and Graves is going to be able to get this much needed CS try and get themselves we look at his gold count it is 1600 to 1900 he is definitely very far behind and wow Ezreal picking up two Dorian's Blades and a Vampiric Scepter going to give him that bunch of life still he's going to be able to trade just so well as Graves only sitting on two Dorian's Blades it looks like Kale coming down now. She's just going to throw down a ward. And let's look at the ward coverage on TSM right now. Look at all these wards. they got one here, another one here. they got every single entrance. They're just keeping High contained. High is not able to do anything. And he's definitely going to need to get that Oracles if he wants to make any kind of uh, pressure on any lane. Because he is just being shut down. He's not able to gank any lanes. And as Alistar, you need to be able to gank lanes. Or else you're just not going to be able to do much. He's going to have to go through uh, Brush. But that's easily wardable too. And they're just not able to do anything. Especially now going to be going back. Lemonation has something to say about that. Not going to let him go back too much. And there's really not much happening up top. You see Yuzuki and Reginald. It's just kind of a farm fest. But I mean, that definitely was in favor of Karthus. Karthus definitely likes to farm. If I mean, he's okay with not going for those kills. But I mean, it is Reginald's playstyle to be kind of aggressive. But he doesn't have to. Nocturne actually sitting here at level 6. They could dive this with the Kale ultimate. Nubby Pooh Bear could be in trouble. He does have a slow. But it looks like Odd One's not going to go for it just going to let it go. Looks like High also wanted to come down here for a gank, but again, just not going to happen. I don't think they saw him, though. And they're actually pinging onto Lemonation. Lemonation could be in trouble right now. Nocturne is coming down as well. Here comes the ultimate, but he is alone. There is nobody else here. This could be trouble for Odd One. He is forced to flash out of there. Not 
not sure what Alvin was doing there. Meanwhile, back in middle, Dyrus went aggressive on the Navi. Did Dyrus use his ultimate? No, Dyrus still sitting on his ultimate, and Odwin is coming up behind high. He is going to get ganked right now. Here comes the headbutt onto Dyrus. There comes the invulnerability onto Dyrus. Dyrus is going to be able to gather there, and okay. Here's the ignite, actually, onto Navi, the ultimate out from Ezreal, trying to pick up some kills, but it's not going to happen. But, I mean, they did force out that ultimate out from Dyrus. Maybe they can make something happen. I mean, it is on a very short cooldown. It's about like 60 seconds at max level, only a minute. Meanwhile, up top, you're seeing a fight going down. Yuzuki and Reginald are going at it. Reginald taking quite a bit of damage, even though Yuzuki is just hit by the wall. And Yuzuki doing a good, nice job dodging those layaways, doing quite a bit of damage, forcing in that taunt does quite a bit. Reginald burn a lot of mana doing that. Nocturne does not have his ult as well, so he can't really gank top that well. And so, I mean, that was a great exchange for him. I mean, Nocturne can't even do anything about it. So Regil's going to be forced to sit back and try and farm a little bit more. As we look at the CS, you know, up top, it is, you know, 63 to 69. So, I mean, despite it, Reginald even having a heart of gold. So he's going to start coming out slightly ahead in these exchanges. And here comes the wall out. Yuzuki seeing him. There's a bunch of pings going out. He's not reacting, though, in time. He might actually get feared here. He's going to have to taunt past this. But High is here as well, forcing the flash out of Reginald. Odd one is still staying, though. Odd one could be in trouble as the exhaust goes out to him. There's the pulverize coming out as well. The ignite going out onto High. Odd one taking quite a bit of damage from both of them. Yuzuki might be able to pick this up. His taunt is going to be coming off of cooldown in just a little bit. There's the fear onto High. High going to be able to flash out of there and get away. Can they turn their attention onto Reginald? Reginald has no mana. Here comes the flash taunt. Nice job for Yuzuki. Here comes High. High able to get the headbutt and Yuzuki's able to pick up the kill getting out of there with a nice 2-0 exchange high is in danger though not able to ulto cart this might have been able to pick up that kill but it did not happen did Lemonation go down no Lemonation did not go down he's just out of lane but Dyrus is going to continue pushing this Nubby Pooper was heading up there to try and help out Nubby Pooper also has the blue also so I mean Orb is still in this game I mean despite a couple you know bad things that bad first blood you know Forcing some summoners out in the end, kind of being very far behind. They definitely need to get some ganks down there. Alistar probably needs to get an Oracle soon. He's sitting on two gold per five, tens as well. Almost called it fives. I know people get really upset about that. And Karthus now has his Catalyst down in bottom lane. Oh, I thought I saw him going aggressive there. But Chaos is, has the lead right now. Tremendously, as we're seeing. 87 to 78. Actually, Grace has caught up quite a bit, but Elimination is going to get slowed. He's going to use the Polymorph to try and mitigate some of that damage, but Chaos is still going on, forcing the exhaust as well. Chaos is doing what he can. Here comes the Shen ultimate onto them. He's going to flash and dash at them. Here comes the ultimate out from Cardless as well. They cannot pick this up, though. There comes the slow onto Nian. Nocturne is coming down as well. Here comes the ultimate, able to pick up Nian. Odd one's going to go onto Yuzuki. Yuzuki going to use his taunt to be able to get out of there, but he's going to. Nian going down to that Ezreal ult. Ouch. And Karthus is going to utilize this chance to be able to push this lane. And Nubby Pooper was not able there to make it there in time. Even though that's what Kassadin is all about. He's all about getting into team fights, you know, and just evening the odds just completely. But he has just not been able to do this. He's been kind of, you know, not been able to get anywhere on the map. Let's put Kassadin's strength is where hopefully we can see him get some ganks on. I mean, this is a very good catching team. Right now, I mean, you got Alistar can easily catch somebody, Casting can easily catch somebody, uh, but they're just not able to capitalize on any of their skills, and TSM is doing a good job of just keeping them shut down. It was a very good team fight there, very good Ezreal ult, Nocturne showing up there immediately. Doing a very good job, Yuzuki coming in, going to do some damage onto Reginald, Reginald using the wall, he's burning a, quite a bit of mana right now, I mean, just very low. But there was just nothing they will do about it. Kassan actually coming down for a gank while High is middle. I'm sure they expect him ganking somewhere. And Reginald's actually just going to kind of back out. Going to go take those golems from Nocturne. His Nocturne is bottom. Keep those on cooldown as much as he can. But Kassan is going to make his return onto middle. Can they make something out of this? Here comes the ultimate and the slow. Making Dyrus is actually forced to use ultimate. Making him vulnerable. But here he comes the knockup. Can he get the headbutt? He gets to get the headbutt off to the side. But Odwin is now here as well. But I don't think they can really fight this. Dyrus has no mana. So I'm just going to scare him off. Make him leave. Now Pooh Bear is starting to you know, farm up, get a little stronger. He does have his catalyst once he gets that rod. He's able to do quite a bit. Odwin throwing down yet another ward, utilizing that wriggles very well. Keeping ward coverage, you know, keep making sure high is kept in check in his jungle. Definitely don't want ganks just going anywhere. But High's actually might be making a move onto this blue buff. He did get spotted by that ward. And you even see Graves and Luba coming down. They are spotted by that ward as well. And they do knock down the shield of Nocturne. And they're going to maybe make a move onto this blue. It would be very risky. Dyrus is here as well. Meanwhile, up top, Reginald getting very low from Shen. Shen doing a good job of continuing that poke damage on. Making 
Reginald really worked for those last hits. And it's about 191, so Reginald, even despite being, you know, poked down quite a bit, he is just still maintaining that CS lead just substantially. And Shen has even grabbed his uh, wits end to help with that poke damage. And you see Graves going on to Chaos. Chaos taking quite a bit of damage, but here comes the shield. Chaos just doing so much damage to Nian. The Polymorph is not going to be able to do too much. Just going to force him to back off. But Nian just barely able to get out of there. I mean, Chaos has his BF sword now. Odwin actually coming down for a gank as well. Looks like High is also going to be moving down here too. Can they get a nice gank onto this? Now Pooh Bear is actually taking quite a bit of damage from Dyrus as well. Dyrus is being such a bully in middle lane. And it's giving just Gavi Pooh Bear just a, such a hard time. Look at the CS. It is 76 to 98. Kale is winning pretty well. Nocturne looks like he went back. Did not see a gank potential there. But here we go. Here comes High, he's coming around, X Special and Chaos are kind of far out of position here. Here comes the Shen Ultimate, looks like X Special, X Special is just too far out of position here. X Special is going to go down, Nian, they're going to be able to pick up this kill. Can this open up into a Dragon attempt? All five of them are bottom side of the map, they're easily able to get to Dragon. And actually here comes the Ultimate out from them, and mm, trying to get, I think it was trying to get the kill onto uh, Cassid in there but just wasn't able to do it, but Kaox doing his ulti, trying to soften up Nian here, and they might be able to win this fight, Nian is kind of out in the open, there's the ultimate onto him, kind of mitigating anything they did to him, just increasing his health by so much, Nian's trying to whack away, but Kaox is on the other side, free to hit people as he pleases, but Kassan's gonna jump over the wall, get the ignite, pick up the kill, Dyrus is now in a very horrible position, and Lemonation actually taking the kill, nice job there, can they continue on this dragon, you see Karthus trying to do what he can, to make it worth it, he's trying to kind of, might be able, might take this tower. He definitely should try and even out the gold a little bit. Don't want Orbit getting too far ahead, but I mean it can affect the whole change of the game and you affect a lot. But Nami Pooper sitting on no mana, so he can't really do anything. Yes, if Odd One, if Nami Pooper had any like mana there at all in a little bit, he might have gotten caught there. So Odd One is kind of playing a dangerous game, but luckily Nami Pooper had no mana at all. But a nice play there from Orbit. Really doing that just so well, just catching him off guard. Nice ultimate from Lulu. They baited that pretty dang hard. Nocturne thought he could get onto there, and then Lulu was just crescendo and whatever she said. I don't know what she says. She says something. It probably tastes purple too. Ha 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 ha. But here we go. On to blue buff. Gonna give that to Cassidy, and Cassidy desperately needed it that last fight. But Dyrus is coming here as well. Darius is coming down here to take this blue buff. Not able to take it, but now Darius is kind of caught in a bad position. No, they're actually just going to back off. Let me prove it. Still has no mana. Even though he got blue buff, it's not going to work immediately. But Darius is coming up for a gank onto Yuzuki, and he probably can take this. Nocturne is here as well. He's going to taunt him from the side, but Yuzuki is still going to be in a 2v1 situation. He needs to get out of here, and no, he's not going to be able to do this. Nocturne does not have his ultimate trying to engage onto anything. You know, Karthus is just kind of roaming around, pushing middle now. He did take that tower, so he's going to try and move middle, maybe get some of that ex experience and gold. As Karthus is definitely the whole kind of keystone, cornerstone of this whole plan here. But here we go, the Polymorph on the Chaos. Chaos using the exhaust on the knee and Lemonation taking quite a bit of damage now. Here comes the ultimate. He's trying to use it. Lemonation using the ultimate on himself, trying to do what he can. But here comes the ultimate out from Chaos. Nian still taking quite a bit of damage. The shield is coming up as well. Just doing so much. Chaos might be able to pick up this kill. No, they're going to trade. Graves for Ezreal and the supports are left with barely any health at all. Kartus does not have his ult up yet. It's up in about 35 seconds. If they did have that ultimate up, then it would have spilled trouble for for bottom lane and that's just the result of the nerf i mean it's like 30 seconds i believe but alistair's actually coming around for a gank here comes the wall i don't think it's gonna matter though there's the ultimate out here comes the shen ultimate too and oh he punts him away can he manage to get this reginald might go down here but he is trying to do what he can doing all he can and nubby pooper is gonna be able to pick up that kill no problem and the global presence of Orbit is just so strong. They're just utilizing Shen's ult to the fullest. They're not using it defensively. They're using it offensively. I don't think you heard me. He's not using it defensively. He's using it offensively. I'll say it like that. Very nice and soft. So you can hear me. Calm down a little bit. Ooh. But that was just so awesome. I can't calm down because it was just so good. And now they're going to set up for this blue. I don't know if they timed it. Because I don't even know when it comes up. So I don't even know when it comes up. I need to put a sign on my door because people like to keep walking in. 
I need to do that. Cast coming in. Oh, they do clear out that ward in time. It is a 4v5. There's another ward. Can they kill? They do manage to kill the second ward as well. Nocturne continuing to poke. Can they get this one as well? They're just throwing wards down all over the place. But it's going to be a 4-on-4 four four right now. Here's the exhaust going on to one. Onto Odd One. Lemonation just might survive this. No! Especially going to pick up that kill with the Zephyr. Karthus is here as well. Here comes the ultimate out. Reginald is actually going to go down. Nian taking quite a bit of damage. Here comes the Nocturne ultimate. Here comes the Karthus ultimate. Nocturne going to go onto Nian. Nian going to take quite a bit of damage. Edge will be able to pick up that kill with his auto attack. But they're going to turn around. Going to get a nice taunt onto Odd One and Chaos. Chaos. Yummy Poop, can he chase onto this? He does have his ultimate, he does have enough mana. If he can get a nice slow Chaos Force to ult flash away. So a nice team fight there for Orbit Gaming. It was so awesome. The ward, the ward fight over here. Just they kept clearing wards, clearing wards. Finally, they had to throw two in at the same time, so they didn't clear them both. And then, <laughs> so good. The ward fight was, it was, was the best part. The ward fight. Kale. If Kale was there, it might have been a different, but I mean, Kale was not at the fight. It was a 5v4 situation. In favor of Team Orbit, I mean, they had everything there. I and mean, they did lose. No, Elimination was very low. He was killed almost immediately. And not sure if he got his ultimate off. Doesn't really look like it. But, ooh, Nubby Poo Bear trying to get out of here. Was caught off, I know, on the other side of them. But it's able to get out of there. Meanwhile, they do take down the bottom tower, giving him even more, a little bit of an advantage. It is 27k gold, 25k gold. And things are looking good for Orbit now. Picking up those kills. Chaos is still very strong now. He's got that Bloodthirster. And Karthus as well. He snowballs very well. I mean, he can be very far behind. But, I mean, he can still pick up kills and just come back with just a vengeance. And his his passive and his ultimate are just too good that even if he's, again, if, if he's behind, I mean, he can still just do so well in team fights, utilizing all of his abilities. That wall is just so game-changing. The ultimate is just so game-changing that it doesn't even matter. And they haven't really had a team fight yet. I mean, Dallas wasn't there. They weren't able to, to utilize that ult strategy. And Hai is actually clearing wards. He's having kind of a dodging battle. He's dancing around it, trying not to uh, get hit by anything. And he did a good job there. Only got hit by one, it looked like. Nice dancing there. The dance master, Hai, doing a very good job. But Reginald, I'm very... I'm very surprised that his CS, he's been CSing so well, 163, he has also been sitting on that gold for 5, he's got 6,100 gold in the game, and I mean, he's got the highest gold count on his team, um, the lowest would be, actually, it's Nocturne, very surprisingly, um, the lowest gold count on his team, I mean, he I guess he hasn't gotten those good ganks off, and Janet did get a kill. So I'm just honestly very surprised that, I mean, Janet does have, you know, two gold per 10s, but Nocturne also has a gold per 10, and Lulu actually trying to get catch it special. If they can get that Oracle, that'd be huge. And they're actually just sitting in the brush, just kind of waiting there. And Shen, does Shen have his ultimate up? Shen does have his ulti up, so he's allow, able to split push, and this is the power of Shen. Shen is a split pushing king, is able to constantly able just to be a thorn in the side of TSM, and I don't know if they need to force this fight, but they're actually going to catch it special, and they can just burst him down. Here comes the ult out, Ezreal. Nian's getting bursted down completely. Nian's going to go down immediately. Lemon Nation's going to go down immediately, and Shen's nowhere to be found. Shen not able to get in on that. They did, definitely did not need to try and engage a fight there. That's going to give him Dragon. Very easily. Kind of don't agree with that decision by Orbit. They definitely did not need to fight. High's going to clear a ward. Get 25, a little bit of extra gold. But Yasuke's going to be able to take down this top tower, no problem. But, I mean, it just still was not worth it. Two kills and a dragon just for a tower. And uh, just completely just not worth it. Reginald's actually still chasing onto High. He's making him, you know, doesn't want to give him any gold at all. He knows he has nothing to fear. They just killed two of their carries. And there's just nothing they, they can do. And here comes the Shen ultimate. On to Nubi Poo Bear. Dyrus is in a horrible position. He's actually going to flash over the wall. There comes the Shirelia's out. Nubi Poo Bear going to flash. Can he get the... I mean, to use his ultimate. Can he get the slow off? His, uh, there's the Ignite on the Dyrus as well. There's the slow. There comes the invulnerability out from Dyrus. Dyrus has no flash up. He is done. Dyrus is going to go down. And that's all she wrote for Dyrus. A nice uh, use of Shen ultimate, actually. I've noticed that Orbit doesn't really use it defensively. They use it always offensively whenever they can see a kill potential, and then they use it with the dashes. I mean, Alistar can get in there, Nubby Pooper can get in there, and just kind of be a little bit tanky thanks to that shield. He can take a little bit of hurt. And then Shen comes, taunts everybody, allows Nubby Pooper to get out. And I mean, it's been working great for them whenever they're able to catch somebody. But Reginald's here. Reginald might be in a dangerous position. Special and Chaos are coming as well, though. But luckily, Nubby Pooper has no mana. Otherwise, I think they might have gone in on that. But they're going to be able to pick up that red buff. Nocturne taking the red buff for himself. And 
do they have an Oracles for Orbit? Yes, yeah, so High is still sitting on that Oracle. He's going to be looking to clear wards. He's going to see that one. Special is going to try and poke him a little bit, making sure that it's all safe. Oh, he actually hits the Baron buff. High's going to take a little bit of Baron damage from this, actually. <laughs> nice use of the Tornado. He did not think about that. Pulling the Baron, making an attack high since he was the closest person. Very, very nice use of that tornado. And let's look at everything else. We're actually seeing, looks like Janna's going to be building maybe a Zeke's? A Zeke's Herald here. And then everyone else, you see, I like Spark on Shen, useful for split pushing. I mean, people kind of realize that, you know, if you're going to go for a split pushing kind of per person, then just get Ionic Spark, especially as someone who doesn't have any AoE clear, it really helps out. And he gets attack speed from what's in, he gets attack speed from Ionic Spark. They kind of just synergize really well together, considering the attack speed that they get, and just gives them quite a bit. I don't want to see his attack speed. Where are you, Shen? Shen, come here. I want to see your attack speed. He's attacking at 1.6. He's attacking just so fast, and you know, he let, lets him get his key strike, you know, with his shield back really quickly. It's just, it's, it's a good combo. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy to see items like that get used when you didn't like, didn't think that they was a real item. There was a real use for it. You just think it's a troll item for like ARAMs or something, triple ionic sparks or something like that. Reggie's gonna pick up that blue buff, gonna make him a lot stronger. He's got his needle to the large rod, and sitting on his sword boots too. He's gonna have that magic pen. But Shen's still continuing to split push. He does not have his ultimate though. But it looks like TSM's gonna be able to take this chaos. Neon actually missing his buckshot onto chaos. Not gonna be able to win that exchange of bursts. Here comes Nani Pooh Bear though. Can he get in there and slow Shen and Alistar on their way as well? And here comes the slow onto Dire. Cyrus using the ultimate on himself. Nocturne's gonna ulti, but he's not gonna be able to find Nian. There he goes. He does find Nian. Here comes the ultimate on there. And wow, just keeping him no no Nocturne pinned down, not able to do any damage to Nian. That ultimate combo, waiting for Nocturne to do it, is just so good. But the Orb's gonna keep on chasing, not managing to land the taunt, but they're gonna land, land all the other deaths of their damage on there. Here comes the headbutt into the wall into Chaos. Chaos is in trouble. Here comes the ultimate out from Karthus. Can they guess it? Graves does manage to pick down Chaos, and they're going to be able to push down this tower, no problem. And, wow, Orbit looking so strong right now. Everybody's looking fed, and Neon's going to keep on chasing. Here comes Shen ultimate. A little bit of miscommunication there. But they're going to be able to pick that up. Is Alistar going to tank this? Yes, Alistar's going to tank it. Utilizing his ultimate. A lot of people don't do that anymore. And I think it's an awesome way to use it. It makes you feel like a man when you do that. But I mean, TSM is not out of this yet. If they can just get a good team fight, utilize that Kale ultimate on Karthus the way they want to, then they might be able to do it. But Dyrus was just kind of out of position a little bit. And so he was forced to use that ultimate on himself, and it really uh, kind of helped the Nocturne try to get in there onto Nian. But Nian did a good job of kind of staying out of sight of, uh, of Nocturne, and so Nocturne was not able to just get in there immediately. And then once he did... They just kind of all focused him. There was the ultimate out from you know, Lulu, just knocking him up, keeping him slowed, and just allowing Nian to really chase down, make him even more tanky. And it's just such a good combo. Especially guys guy get, getting that Oracle, still has it. Just trying to try and clear wards. Who else? Is it high? Yeah, High's still surviving with that Oracle. And you're seeing TSM still pushing mid. They're not swayed by that team fight. They know they can still win one. And they definitely have the damage to do it. They just have to worry about Graves. Lulu's ultimate. I mean, Lulu's ultimate with Graves is just so good, just giving him so much power, so much health, so much strength, that it's just so good on him. But again, that Kale Karthus, you know, Nocturne, Ezreal damage, you know, along with Janna to keep everybody alive, it's just, it's still strong, and they can still win a team fight if they, if they play it right. But I mean, Orbit doing a good job keeping their lead, making sure to clear the wards, making sure to keep map control, as they definitely are in control of the map. They are in control of the pace of this game right now, and they can control where TSM is going to go. Lulu going around looking for Warriors. She's got the Aegis now, going to help them out. Looks like Yuzuki's actually going to be going for a Trinity Force? Going for that Trinity Force. He's got the Phage and the Sheen. I'm not sure if he's going to do it. We'll have to see. I mean, it does give him attack speed. You know, attack speed. Shen, really strong. Number one. Plus, you know, it helps him, gives him that some nice clear speed. Helps him split push better. And he makes him tank here. A little bit more damage. And there he goes. Continuing to be a split pushing machine. Just continuing just to be a constant thorn in just TSM's side. Just by split pushing. And it's just so annoying. They got top lane pushing. They have bot lane pushing. This definitely opens up a Baron attempt for Orbit. Because they have Shen who is split pushing. So it makes them decide. I mean... Orbit has a good disengage right now where they can easily just disengage, but here comes Reginald not going to try and go for the wall. He does not want to risk it. Now you see Chaos even bottom lane right now, and Yuzuki's going to solo the dragon. 
just giving him so much. And High is still going to be clearing wards, and we're just seeing TSM. They're just going to take this red, taking what they can, of course. Is you're going to probably see Azuki just head back down to bottom lane, just be able to continuously split push this. No problem. Can TSM get a good engagement on him? They definitely need a good engagement. But with Shen, oh, Shen's actually going to go back. Does he have enough gold for his... He has 1,600 gold. I want to say that's enough gold for his um, item. I can't think of it. Yeah, it's definitely enough gold, actually. He's going to have his training force now. And then just head back to bottom lane, just continually to split push that thing super hard now, utilizing all that extra damage that he's going to have from his Trinity force. But, I mean, Orbit and TSM are just kind of having a standoff in the middle. And Orbit it will come out ahead in this just because of Shen able to split push. They're definitely utilizing their uh, map control, their presence control. And high, they, they are pinging onto him. They definitely want to go in on him. But this is what TSM wants. They are putting Reginald out in front, utilizing that KO ultimate when he can. Does he have a Zonius yet? He does not have a Zonius. And when he gets that Zonius, it'll be very strong. And yes, here he comes. Zuki starting to split push this down. He does have a, lay, a wave here. Reginald setting up, trying to get a good engagement. Try, oh man, taking quite a bit of damage on from Nobby Pooper. Nobby Pooper is going to be able to get out of there. Here he comes. There's a flashback out onto him. There comes the ultimate out from Kale onto Reginald. Reginald still taking quite a bit of damage. Did not mitigate as much as they wanted. High is in the middle of everything. Odwin went ultied in onto Nian, but he just got knocked up again by Lulu ultimate. Chaos is now the one. The Azos is actually onto Yuzuki of all the people. Chaos not able to pick up the kill on Nobby Pooper. Yuzuki is going to be able to get that kill onto Janna kicking out that Oracle as well, and they might be able to close out this game right here. All five of them are up. Neon, Elimination, anybody can tank this right now. They have Izuki as well, but that's going to be the Surrender. That's going to be GG, and wow, Orbit taking that in very nice fashion, utilizing that ultimate from Shen just so well, utilizing the ultimate from Lulu just so well. And it just shows the potential that, I mean, Lulu still has. I mean, people still, you know, are like, oh, Lulu's not a very good support. <laughs> Screw you. And Shen just able to split push. He's still he's still split push king. So good job by Orbit there. Thank you guys for watching. I enjoyed this game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, I got a new background. Uh, One Piece. I'm watching One Piece now. So One Piece is really good. I would, I would recommend it. I recommend it very much. So yeah, thank you.